Arch Rivals Football, in collaboration with The Playmakers Blog, presents Bearing Down the Gridiron, sponsored by NFLShop.com, Fanatics, and Points.com. Here are your hosts for the show, Alex, the Bear Man Alcazaz, and Darnell, the Playmaker Salads. Executively produced by Ricky, a.k.a. the Master of Mayhem, Lit Winkowicz. Kickoff starts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Barry Down the Great Iron. As we do our first show of the month of October, that means it is non conference schedule is done. It's conference time, and uh, like as we go on the show, we're gonna find out if Bearman gave up on one of his conference champions already. But that's what later on the show. Speaking of the Bearman, down there in the good old state of Texas, how you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, brother. And uh, as you see, a third member's on that screen right there because uh, that man there is the Prez, the master of mayhem. And I Darnell, I gotta, I gotta tell it quick. When I go to church and I feel very good and feel full of faith, I got, I got you to thank for that because this is all under your advice, buddy. So I thank you so much. Well, actually, on the main <laughs> screen, I'm not on the main screen. I'm only gonna oh, appear once on the- tonight. Well, he's going to appear in your, in your screen right now because uh, while I shout the show, I'm going to have him do what he needs to do. All righty. The uh, show is brought to you by Betstamp. Betstamp is your new home for the collection of all of your betting lines for the NCAA season. Why, you may ask? Is it always such a pain in the ass that you got to switch through different sporting apps? to find the best deals, well, BetStamp is the app for you. BetStamp is the kayak of sports betting. They take all of the best bets throughout. As you can see on the screen, there are spots from WinBet, BetRivers, FanDuel, uh, Caesars, BetMGM, so on and so forth. They give you the best winning percentages, the top money lines, the top odds, and the top under overs from all of the sports bet sports betting apps known to man. Use promo code Arch Rivals. Sign up for Betstamp to make your betting a lot more safer and a lot easier to make some money to put in your pocket. They're working out for you so far, Mr. Price. Working out well. It is working out well. And I could say that uh a lot of people were very kind of like sketched on doing it because they, uh, they're they already on betting apps and they think it's just another betting app. This app, again, collects all of the betting apps and gives you all of those best options. So that's why we have BetStamp on, uh, on the gear. Are you guys ready for the uh, Gridiron Roundup? Uh, mm-hmm. Well, oh, we skipping a two-minute drill today? Uh, no, we could do two-minute drill. Let me see. Do I have it set up there? Uh, yeah, there we go. Got to do the two-minute drill. You've uh, you burned up a minute. You got about two minutes left. All right, two-minute drill. Without Kansas, is the point of no return because Kansas is no longer in the bottom ten, Bear Man. They are not. As a matter of fact, speaking of that, look at that. Texas OU, prepare for a meeting where both teams are unranked. Well, that's very wait rare. Till, wait till we get to that. Clemson, Davis, the second green suit over 20, 2021 collision. Oof. Well, messing around while driving, it has consequences. But that brings us to West Virginia running back Donaldson to miss the game against Baylor from an injury he sustained in Virgi- West Virginia's 38-20 to loss against UT. Ohio State, Henderson, respect back for a Michigan State game. That does not bode well for the Spartans. And they weren't going to bode well for them anyway. Well, Clemson defensive tackle is to miss uh, his second straight game. 
Well, up is happy at KU as Wisconsin rumors were as Paul Christie was fired over the week. <laughs> yeah, and apparently he actually received an $11 million buyout from the University of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is going on here? That man, that man gave you nothing but winning seasons, and you're going to let him go. Well, I guess it's time for a new voice because, if you, yeah, kind of like a Brian Kelly situation, but, you know, they had an agreement to leave instead of Brian Kelly, who just opted to leave. And uh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going on right now, the SMU and UCF game has kicked off. If y'all recall, game was moved to Wednesday due to the Hurricane M, and I thought some prayers are those down in Central Florida down the temple as hurricane has done some damage down there major damage so our thoughts and prayers are with you guys and that is the two minute drill you've uh you burned up a minute you got about two minutes left all right wrong screen oh shit hold on damn screens all right. now before we continue on the master of mayhem did have a he has some concerns about this two minute drill. We have done this for like four weeks now, Bear Man. I think we're doing yes. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's working out. So you better acknowledge us, Prez. It's working out so far. You know, the ticker is uh, a viable piece now. Steve Walman's in the chat. How you doing? I heard you. I heard you missed me yesterday. Oh, he was ripping into you. I heard, I heard I was missed. It feels good to be missed. Yeah, I informed Steven, uh, if you want Darnell's thoughts, uh, just tune into Ramley Talk. Oh, by the way, I ain't tell I ain't tell him to put money on the damn Rams. Well, we all got it wrong. That because I did an emotional pick. In my head, knew what was going to happen. Man, yeah, well, this Sunday... Uh, yeah, we... Uh, you can do all your trash talking on Saturday when I'm not here. Okay. Trash talking. Trash right. talking. What 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 do you take me for, playmaker? You take my alter ego for a trash talker or me? Both. Oh uh, well, you know, the other one just really doesn't seem to give a damn. But anyway, that as Ricky says, that's besides the point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the gridiron roundup. The Gridiron Roundup. And kicking off our Gridiron Roundup is that team that is oh surprisingly undefeated. Kansas goes to 5 and 0 by the final score of 14 to 11, Bear Man. This is definitely a game, if if we made Ricky watch this game, Ricky would go absolutely insane. No, Ricky likes defensive games. Sometimes. No, he doesn't like, but he doesn't like college football. I don't think he completely understands college football. Wow. Listen, after <laughs> watching that Detroit-Seattle game this weekend, I know what college football is all about. <laughs> it, it, took, it took the NFL game to get you there. They scored 90 plus points. It happens in college football all the time. Exactly. And speaking of team dropping points, woo, Alabama. Good gracious. They went to Vail, Arkansas, and uh, they put it on the race. Despite losing Bryce Young. And they still put it on Arkansas Razorbacks. Well, they got angry. But speaking of Mr. Bryce Young, do do you have a do we have a diagnosis or do we have a do we have a full update? Uh, AC joint sprain day to day. You know how Nick Saban is. He's just like Bill Belichick, so you ain't gonna get much from him. Mm, I guess we're lucky to get anything at all, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Brian Kelly survived his first robbery game, the Battle of the Tigers. He walks into Auburn, being down 17 nothing, and drops 21 unanswered to win 21 to 17. See, games <laughs> like this is made, and this is this is games like this is why Bear Man comes out because you can't have a 17 point lead in college and lose it. Especially at home. The bad you know, another visit between the Tigers. Uh 
Everybody was talking about it, too. But it's got to be embarrassing because LSU's quarterback was 8 for 20 for only 80 yards. I mean, okay, well, here's the embarrassing part. Auburn has 438 total yards, but LSU is only <laughs> Game of the week last week. Speaking of the Tigers, the number five team in the country, the Clemson Tigers, at night at Death Valley, the original Death Valley Bear, man. I did some research. Clemson's the original Death Valley. LSU adopted it when they beat them back in the day. I think it was like 1958, something like that. That's when oh, LSU yeah. adopted the Death Valley. But Cubs is the original Death Valley, and at the original Death Valley, number 10, NC State walked in there, and they just couldn't hang with the Tigers of Clemson. Well, we talked about this because the Tigers were in a must-win situation. Good game, but the Tigers prevailed. Next. Ooh, the battle of teams who can handle prosperity. We had Texas Tech come up with a big win over their arch rival in Texas. And then we had K-State walk coming off a trip to Norman, Oklahoma, and knocking off the Oklahoma soon. Which team was going to handle prosperity? And it was the Wildcats of Kansas State, 37 to 28. And I called it, actually. Yeah. I mean, come on. Kansas beats Oklahoma on the road, and then they go home against Texas Tech. I mean, we knew – we it was pretty obvious that Kansas State was going to get the job done. And I guess hey. Texas Tech losing, they, they just proved, like, once again, how overrated the Texas Longhorns are. Hey, my brother's watching. What's up, bro? Ronnie. Uh, now nah, something we both seen. Brother coming. Ronnie. Utah hosting Oregon State. Yeah, we saw this coming. We, we saw yeah. this coming. Yeah, and then something about Utah, we'll definitely get into that in a little bit, but. Oh, my God. How about this one? <laughs> Number seven, Oklahoma State. Well, there was, a, there was a gutsy pick that I made. Oklahoma <laughs> State at Baylor. Took the trip to Waco, tested the face off against 16 right? Baylor Bears. And uh, it was a rematch of the Big 12 championship when it was one yard that separated Baylor and Oklahoma State. This mm -hmm. game around, they Oklahoma State left no doubt in this one. Oklahoma State just proves just prove how good they are. Mm. Uh yeah. Friend of mine, uh, who's an Oklahoma who's an Oklahoma State uh, alumni, uh I'm pretty sure uh, he's super excited until Oklahoma State faces OU, but that won't be until later this year. It'll come. I got to ask the president a question. What would you define being cruel as a sports analyst? What, what would define being cruel as a sports analyst? Being cool? Hmm. Cruel. Oh, cruel. That's being outright. Yeah. Uh, would that just so happen to be the last game that's on the screen? <laughs> For someone that it knows Jack about college football made the pick of the century last week in which you agreed as your surprise pick from last week's bearing down the gridiron. Is that cruel? He, he He's learning from the playmaker. And, you know, the fact that I'm a Florida Gator fan. <laughs> You knew which way I was going to lean in a 31 Wake Forest, 21 Florida State at Dope Campbell Stadium. I'm just saying. That's pre uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I picked. That's probably one of the picks I got wrong. I'm just saying, Bear Man. I mean, uh, did I not come on here and say that, uh, yeah, y'all can enjoy y'all little undefeated season, but it ends here? Didn't I say that? Yeah, yeah you did say that. On multiple occasions, as a matter of fact. Listen, we also knew that the uh, Florida State Seminoles were not a proven team coming into this season. And there were a lot of naysayers that said Wake Forest will be the ditmus test for this. And they got dismissed 
by the Demon I was, Deacons. I was number one on that list because I told y'all. But but hold for stay hold on, hold on. I'm not done with y'all. I get back to y'all later on. He's on, a to he's on a I told you so rant right now. Oh, you have no Except idea. uh you don't you wouldn't say I hate to say I told you so because you no, love no, to no, 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 no. I'm not I'm not doing Florida State yet. I'll get back to them later. Let's go on to the next screen here. <laughs> he's not done with Florida State. We've been warned. We've we've uh, been warned, ladies and gentlemen. We've been warned. Ladies and gentlemen, and Mr. Press. Today I am here to acknowledge that a man picked a team to win the Pac-12. And as they stands right now, that team that he picked is currently undefeated. The UCLA Bruins, led by Chip Kelly, took down Washington Huskies 40 to 32. Berman, I acknowledge you. The Bruins are looking good. Well, finally. Well, it's interesting, you know, because the UCLA that was, we'll get to the pick sixes, but but I, I want to fire up UCLA as much as I can. But you know, believe it or not, I was actually in a place uh, where a friend of mine, his band, was playing, and they happened to be showing the game. So when they were done, I stayed behind to finish the game. But yeah, now they beat Washington. Who knows? You feel good about yourself, don't you? Well, I mean, uh, I can't say I feel good about myself because the prediction hasn't come true yet. But at least I can say, I mean, hey, I mean, but at least uh, people can't say that I'm a complete idiot for thinking about UCLA because now UCLA is bringing up something. Maybe they'll say, okay, so he made a he made a gutsy pick. Well, you might as well keep on you. You might as well keep on praising you because go to the next game. Good gracious. Uh. Well, I'll I'll, I'll admit I did wa I did watch. I did have a smile on my face. TCU is, of course, you know. I live up. I live north of uh, Fort Worth, so TCU is basically my backyard. Although North Texas is my alma mater, which is up the road. TCU is down the road, but my alma mater is up the road. Yeah, it felt good. It felt really good. But seeing that that story with that player getting hit, uh, well, either way, it was game over, right? They smacked Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Well, Oklahoma, I mean, they smacked the team that got beaten by Kansas State. But now we're, okay, going into the season, there was all that talk that, oh, you had no quarterback. So now that seems to be the, now it's more, now it's more clear than ever, right? I'm just saying, they smacked Oklahoma. But it's not just the quarterback position. I mean, this Oklahoma team, you know. They just put up 55 like it was easy. This is easy. I never saw. Uh, TCU does, TCU does shock the world every now and then. TCU will shock the world every now and then. But I have never seen 55 point being scored so easily against Oklahoma. That's the mm -hmm. easiest 55 I have ever seen in my life. Well, if my buddy John Long's watching, John is a, a diehard TCU fan. Uh, you know, here I am talking about a, a smile on my face. I mean, John must have been overjoyed. Iro fans. At least he team know how to score more than seven points. I'll give you that. Well, 27, they lost by 13 points. It's not so bad. But then y'all want to, yeah. He scored more than seven. I'll give you that, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, that's I forgot about, about that. It. That's about <laughs> it. He scored more than seven. That's all I got to say. And the game that I wanted to make game of the week, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it because he had NC State and Clemson. But Kentucky... Undefeated. Went to Oxford, Mississippi to go against undefeated. Oh, Miss. Oh. The Wildcats. The heartbreak of Rock. Wildcat Nation's heartbroken, Bell, man. They are heartbroken. You don't, well, sometimes they would say you don't rebel against the rebels. They are heartbroken. That was their 20, game. And they lost. 20, 22 to 19. It was their game. It they was their three, game. They had three opportunities on scoring, and they turned it over all three times. Uh, oh, you must be happy. I mean, Florida and Kentucky. I mean, I'm sure that's something you don't want to talk about. Uh, that's maybe another story for another time. But uh, you, you ought to be happy. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Uh, who who picks up first? 
My. Mm. Well, okay, he's really? perfect. Mm. No. This. Mm. Hey, no, Chris. This. This. Somebody said I wasn't gonna go perfect like some weeks back, <laughs> and ever since then I just been perfect. I mean, uh, you can't say I ain't pick. You can't say I ain't pick no hard games. I've been acknowledging you on all of the picks for the weeks, and you finally, you finally had it in you to acknowledge me. Man, I didn't expect UCLA to be five and zero at this point. I thought they had lost by two games already. But hey, woohoo! It's been a bad week for picks. Six and zero for a third consecutive week. Where's Alice Big Say? How do you Alice do? Ah, five hundred, Alex. Not bad. Five hundred. Oh Lord, Texas A and M. Good gracious. Three weeks in a row that he is perfect. Damn. Damn, I forget. Damn, you did pick Texas A and M. Good gracious. Yeah, I did. Jimbo is not helping you out right now. Easy. Good old Jimbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the football team now looks uh, distraught. Good, good crisis. Oh, can you beat Kentucky? Damn, that's that hurt. That yeah, that's that hurt. And you had Kentucky. They owe you some Kentucky, Kentucky fried chicken. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I can't think of nothing with Kentucky, <laughs> but that. <laughs> hey, I'm. I'll, uh, I, it's, it's, a, it's a rare moment that I have a bad one. Okay, most of the times I'm on point is a bad one. All right, we'll be we standing there as pressure wise. Is that a five game lead for me? Yep. 25 and 5, Bear Man's 20 and 10. You 10 games over, over, over 500, Bear Man. You shouldn't feel too bad. Mm. You 10 games over 500. I mean, I fulfilled my personal prophecy for this year. I beat you in fantasy football, so I'm at peace. That's a damn shame. Yo, 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 personal prophecy is beating me in fantasy. Because the last two years you beat me, and Lord knows how unbearable you you were about it. <laughs> me? I'm not the reigning champion. That would be that guy that's hiding in the background. Yeah, because, you know, you're talking to Alex. The alter ego, he's, uh, well, he's laughing right now. He's in a good mood. Yeah, it's no wonder you want to be in it this year because Ricky, you know I'm co I'd be coming after you, buddy. Man, Ricky, Ricky pulled a petty Manny. I won the Super Bowl. I'm gone. Listen, I had my mic oh, off, my so God. I have to redo the unbearable comment. And again, nobody's coming after me. Okay, I retired in peace. I'm good to go. I walk around with my head held high. No, I'm pretty sure I can cut a pro. I can get in the ring. I'm sure I can pull you out of retirement, buddy. Mm. You just wait. Nah. That man said. You I'm just gone. wait, Mr. Playmaker. I'm, a, I'm one in three, okay? I'm at the bottom right now. Yeah, I had a bad week, okay? Now my team's falling apart. I mean, who cares? Oh, We're going to take a break when we come back. He's going to preview the week ahead. Pain Train, Pipe Bomb Productions, and the Playmakers blog are now both partnered with Fanatics. Fanatics is now your new home for all fan merchandise from the MLB, the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, MLS, NASCAR, WWE, International Soccer Leagues, and golf. Check out the links below for everyday deals on fanatics.com.
the campus tour. Hmm. All right, now before we get into our campus tour, if you would like to make some donations to help what we got going on here, you can donate us to the PayPal. What is the PayPal, Chris? Uh, that would be PBRNYC. PBRNYC. So if you like to donate, feel free to donate. All right, Bear Man Campus Tour. Woohoo! Kicking it off, number four, Michigan, on the road again. They are at Indiana, 12 p.m. You know why I did not put this in my in my in my pick six, Darnell? Because that that's what you that's what you told me about earlier this season about making the easy picks. I wouldn't care. Yeah, well, you know what? At least I can prove that I have the guts to pick the more difficult games. So I know I'm I know I'm now on that. Michigan and Indiana. We only, well, okay, so Michigan is still at number four. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, uh, Alabama jumped Georgia for number one. Georgia's two, Ohio State still stays at three, Michigan stays at four, Clemson stayed at five. Yeah, well, if Michigan does not win by a larger margin, well, this time they're not going to be able to avoid the ranking change. So they better, they better get it done in a dominant fashion. Why Indiana, frankly, I think they will. Indiana ain't no pushover. <laughs> Indiana's not a pushover. If they win by 10, Michigan did their job. Yeah, well, well no, I think, where, where's my where's my line? Do we have the lines up? I probably don't because I didn't prepare. Which line did you want? I just had it up. Michigan, personally. Michigan, and Indiana. Uh, give me one second. I'll look at the uh, the, oh, actually, you know what? I'll do it off my phone. Michigan, Indiana. That should be an interesting uh, let me see here. I guess you get off the NFL, go to the NCAA because that's what we do. Uh, ESPN football power index says ninety one point nine percent Michigan. Our lovely friends at Betstamp say ninety two percent, with a twenty two and a half point spread. Good gracious! Under over fifty nine points, by the way. They must think Michigan is going to control the ball, run the ball, control the clock, and Indiana is not going to have a lot. Woo! SEC matchup. Top 25 matchup. Death Valley. Well, oh, there's one of my Number eight, the Volunteers of Tennessee taking on the Tigers of LSU. Ooh. Bear man. Yeah, I know. This, this game's going to say a lot about Whoever wins and loses this game. Yeah, well, my my uh, so I made the picks. Yeah, this is on my one of my picks. So Tennessee with a fifty-seven percent winning percentage, a overall line of plus three. Mm. ESPN power index says fifty-eight point three percent Tigers. That's interesting. But I got Tennessee. They have Tennessee winning, by the way. Mm. The thing is, this game is at noon and not in prime time. This might be the only thing that gets Tennessee over. It's not in prime time. But we shall see. Next! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the Red River Showdown. Dallas, Texas. The Texas Longhorns, three and two on a year. Unranked. Take it on Oklahoma Sooners. Three and two on the season. Unranked. Both teams are unranked. Go ahead, Bear Man. Go ahead. This is this is what it is. It's been a long time since both teams have been unranked. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time they weren't. Both both teams were unranked. So Oklahoma comes in supposedly with, with a bad quarterback situation, but Longhorns come in with a questionable defense. I wonder which one wins. There's been no uh, talk about Quinn Edwards, although he was supposedly being groomed to come back for this game, but I'm sure we've got an update by now. But as I'm looking at it, well, 
Well, Diego says that he that there's momentum about him returning against OU. Although 24-7 Sports says that he could play against OU, but but now it's about the defense I'm worried about. But Texas is favored last time I checked. Uh, can ESPN, you confirm? ESPN has a 68% Texas. Our friends at uh, Betstamp has 70 with a line of uh, seven. But who do they have favored? Texas. Texas. Uh, you know, the land of steers and queers. Ouch. Take that back. Ouch. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean you could be a queer. You could be a steer. Take it back. <laughs> I don't. It's my show. I could care less. Ouch. Yeah, well, you know, your, state New York, your state of New York ain't really any better uh, now, is it? Well, I can't say that it's any better than freaking California either, so. Yeah, well, both both states are shitty anyway. <laughs> but Texas, if you're favored, you better get the damn job done. You might you don't want to get embarrassed anymore. I miss Misi. I need Misi for this, man. Misi ain't gonna help you on this one. Cause I can guarantee you she's <laughs> tucking tail and running. She's wow. tucking tail and running. Oh, you Texas. Oh, oh my goodness. This mm, 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 I don't know what to tell you. I, I mean don't for know me. What to tell you. If Quinn, if Quinn Ellers is playing returns, then great. But again, it's the defense that that's the problem. Twelve p.m. ABC. I do. I wonder who's calling this game. It won't be Kirk Herstreet. Let's go to the next game. Oh, why is this game on my list? Oh, seventeen ranked TCU is at. 19 rank Kansas. The game is set 12 p.m. FS1. And there's something else I forgot to mention. What is it? I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Hold on. I'm forgetting something. Uh... Oh, yeah. Call this game that's going to be in Lawrence, Kansas, Bear Man. Yeah, you mentioned that. Oh, we get to see some Pat McAfee for a change? Yes. Oh, love it. Love it. This is their first time being in Kansas for football. Football. Well, this is where I made the emotional pick, as you like to say. Ooh. Wait, you made an emotional pick? You made an emotional pick. Do you, TCU four and zero. Do you Kansas five and zero? Do you care to share those emotions on the pick? No. Well, it's like Darnell said, how Darnell picked the Rams over the 49ers even though they knew they were going to lose. Mm. I don't think that same logic works for this one. I like to remain, but I think TCU can find a way. Hopefully, they do. ESPN says sixty-eight percent horn for Hawks. Bet. Well, I, that, I did not need that to make my pick. It's a seven-point spread. Both teams are going to be scoring a lot of points in this game and a 70% for TCU. Well, you got TCU who averages 48 and a half a game. Kansas is averaging 41 and 41.6 a game. Yeah. For those of you who would like points, there you go. Uh, that should cover game day site. Next game. And if you like the game massacre game. of birds, I think this would probably be the game for you. That game was last week. Where did that game come from? I don't know. I don't even know what's supposed to be there because I just went through the list. I told you. Sloppy. There you go. How about that one? Oh, uh, ooh. We have a rivalry in the SEC, Bear Man. Those disappointing Auburn Tigers. They got to go over the hedge in Athens, Georgia, to take on second ranked Georgia. Who, oh, might Georgia. Be, who might be pissed off the fact that they're not number one no more? Yeah, so that's why they're going to beat the hell out of Auburn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, ugh. 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 Um, Fred, did I see that number correctly? What, that it says 96% winning percentage for Georgia? 
Not that, but the other one. Oh my gosh. Uh, which number would that be? The uh, the spread. Thirty oh point God. spread. Jesus. Well, just to let everybody know, there was a fifty point spread last week on the docket, and they didn't cover. Hold on, what's that spread again? That spread was the Syracuse game last week, and it was fifty point spread. No. But this week, it is Georgia favored to go and win by thirty plus. This is a rivalry game, and the spread is thirty. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh Lord. I would never thought I'd see a rivalry game to be so lopsided. That 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 doesn't make any sense. It 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 just doesn't. You know what? All right, no, move on, move on, move on. Game of the week. Game of the week, game of the week, game of the week. 11, Utah at 18. UCLA at the Rose Bowl. Bear man, your Pac-12 champions are in the game of the week. Mm-hmm. You know why I'm picking Utah for this one? My question is, have you are you given how dare how you pick them to win it? But you had them losing to the team who won it last year. Have you because I want UCLA to really prove just how good they are. So to pump them up, I'm gonna go against them. So to prove me right, I gotta light I gotta light a fire in their stomach. You got to light a fire in their stomach. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, I mean, I picked Utah against Florida, and look how that turned out. But then again, is UCLA Florida? Hell no. There you go. What's, what's, what's my numbers? What's my numbers? Well, not my number, but what's the people's numbers, should I say? Uh, I got to look for that because they're not all in order, and I don't remember what time this game is. Oh, 3.30. Utah, 62%. Line four, under over 65 and a half. Okay. Be careful how you how you bet this game. I'm not a better, but I'm saying be careful how you bet this game. Because this game right here, whew, this is a good one. Well, why it's game of the week. If you really want the money line, and the money line is probably pretty significant, and it's plus 155, so if you bet 10... Add the extra 55, I think you make somewhere close to around, uh, I think it was $55 on a $10 bet. Mm. Okay. That's the game of the week. But we're not done with Campus Tour. Ah! Those Trojans of USC. Home. And not, the Coliseum. And not the condoms. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Taking on the Krugers of Washington State. Do we do we give do are we giving the Krugers a chance in this one? No. Nope. No. Okay. We can move on. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. BYU 16 in the country taking on a Notre Dame team. Bearman, who's coming off a of bye week? Notre Dame. Notre, Notre Dame unranked. They only two and two in the season. BYU four and one. And uh ESPN says 69.9% fighting Irish. With a very low spread, by the way. How low? How low are we talking? Four points. Home team. Yeah. Is 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 the is the hype of BYU starting to come down, Bear Man? Is Probably, yeah. Down? As they head to the Big Twelve. <laughs> Seven thirty. NBC Peacock is your is your channel for this game right here. What's next on the docket? Ooh. Ames, 
Iowa, as the Cyclones set its face off against the 20th ranked Kansas State Wildcats. This will be a nail biter. Wow. Only a two point spread. For who? It's a uh, Iowa State plus two. Iowa State plus two. Kansas State is actually favored going into the game. ESPN has it. 55.3 Cyclones. Actually, they have it. Uh, Kansas State 54% on uh, bet stamp. Mm-hmm. Is this a trap game, Bear Man? Nope. So I think Kansas I think Kansas State finds a way to get it done. He says it's not a trap game. It's not a trap game. Not a trap game. All right, let's move on. Where are we going from? From Mays Iowa down to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You know why? Because the game that should have been a game of the week, if you go back to what happened in the all season, and Bear making we lift that for y'all. It's Texas AM versus number one Alabama. Eight o'clock. CBS. Yeah, this is not uh, this is not going to be faint of heart for a lot of people. Don't waste your money. That's all I have to say. Bear man, can you kindly remind the people what happened over the summer between the two coaches? Yeah, there was that feud. You know, they, but they, the, they, the they feud though, the, there were certain accusations, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna go deep into them because you know, but there were there were accusations among each other. I mean, in other words, it was it was something personal, mind you. And then what? Then what did everybody started to do? You know what everybody started to do? They circled, they circled this date, October eighth. Mm-hmm. Why? It's because also if it's the game that people gonna want to watch. But what did Texas A and M do in the process? Oh, they put themselves in the shit. Well, Jimbo Fisher at least. Yeah. You know how disappointed. You know, Mr. Perez. Imagine a rivalry beginning on the off season, okay? Because one coach calls out the other coach for recruiting players with benefits, all right? Define benefits. The green. Not the weed. No, the green. Okay. The green. The cat. So, you know, you go to the county, you say, okay, October 8th is coming. Woo! All right, we ready. When October 8th get here, Tesla's going to be on fire. And then you end up hearing uh, Avalanche and State don't happen. And then a Mississippi State don't happen. And you know what happens to this game, Chris? What? Nobody cares anymore. You have a 3-2 and two Texas A&M team going against an undefeated number one Alabama. And Berman would tell you this. After that game against Texas, Barry may tell him what everybody knew what was coming ever since that game against Texas. Can we please not? Hmm. Uh-oh. You just knew an avalanche, a road tie was coming. Did you see what they did? Did you, did you not remember what they did at Arkansas? Even without yeah, I Bryce Young. Yeah. I saw it. Just 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 for the people's of music, Prez, what's the numbers for this? What's well, gonna be a massacre in Tuscaloosa? Ninety-four percent Bama. The money line is negative twenty five hundred to put money on Alabama. They have a twenty four point spread and an under over of fifty one points. More likely than anything, if the money, if the line goes positive, I would go the under over. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch any else of it. 
I know what game. I know what game you're missing, sir. Which one would that be? Texas Tech. They're on the road to seven rank Oklahoma State. Well, uh, that's the next one up. That is. That's mm-hmm. the next one up. So we ain't gonna show that one because you know I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the ESPN numbers and because the uh, Bearman will tell you uh, we taking Oklahoma State and it's not gonna be even close. Oh yeah. It's not gonna be close whatsoever. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a beating. What's well, it's gonna be a beating like you have never seen before. So let me. What, what is ESPN talking? ESPN says seventy-seven point one percent Cowboys money line. The money line is three three forty-five state with a nine and a half point spread. All right. Oh. Is that a Seminole on my screen? Yes, it is. Yeah, you you take this one. Do I see a Seminole on my screen? Ladies and gentlemen, the 4-1 and one and unranked Florida State Seminoles are going on the road to take on 14th ranked NC State Wolf at 8 p.m. on the ACC Network. And uh, before I say what I want to say, uh, Perez, go ahead and get into the numbers. We got uh, NC State 59%. A only four point spread on win bet and a three point spread on Caesars. So there's some there's some there's some goodness for Florida State. There's some hope, right? No. There's there's hope, there's life. Even Vegas says we're only giving you three points, NC State. I say that no. That means we believe in we believe in Florida State. I say no. No. The says no. <laughs> I mean Alex. Even Vegas is giving Florida State hope uh, the, the, on the road. NC State is the Wolf Pack, right? Yeah. Well, Wolf Pack, Wolf Pack will be in the hizzy on Saturday. Trust me on that. Oh. And the red and black, not the black and white. Sorry. Do I need to reiterate what I said last week? Might as well. The fall of Florida State has begun, and it will continue. Because you're not going to run in North Carolina against a pissed off NC State Wolfpack team and coming out of that building alive. NC State is going to destroy y'all. And y'all going to lose y'all second straight game. I told y'all for the state fans. I waited. I bided my time. Just for the right moment. And I seen that three gauntlet that y'all had. And I said, it's over. It started last week to Demi Dinkins. Now it's the Wolfpack turn. Matter of fact, we can go ahead and go to the Bear Down Pick Six. Oh, we oh, have oh, what? No, oh, I forgot. Oh, my ducks, my ducks, my twat touch of it. My bad. I dumped the gun. Hey, Arizona. It's surprising Arizona had that. Got, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't think we had Arizona doing so good, correct, there, man? Nope. We didn't have Arizona <laughs> nope. doing. We, no, I mean. Three and two on the season. They got some key wins under their belt. I mean, they did smack one of this smack a San Diego State that I had upsetting them. They did smack them in the mouth. I mean, but Oregon is my Pac-12 champion. So I mean, that is what eight p.m. out on the West Coast. That'd be five p.m. on the, on the West Coast. Seventy-eight point two percent ducks. Actually, that'd be uh, six. PM on the West Coast. Three hour time difference. Yeah, this game is at eight, not nine. Uh, no, it says nine here on the uh, on the the, the bet stand. Oh, they changed the oh they changed the nine. It was eight. I guess they pushed it back now. Pat twelve. Oregon getting thirteen. No, Oregon's giving thirteen. They're giving thirteen. And it is one of the highest under overs for the weekend. And I just look at the number seventy one. Uh, it has here under over 71 points for the game. Uh, Arizona getting 13. Money line plus 400 on the Wildcats. Oh, Lord. Ducks! Quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, I got to go Oregon on this one. Ducks. And it's not the All mighty right. Ducks either. No, nope. don't need to be. No. The Ducks won the Pac-12. Just know that. All right. Is that the last game? Yes, that's the last game. All right. Where's my Bear Down Pick 6 graph? The Bear Down Pick 6. 
Alex is up first. Alex, you up first, sir. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, you can tell the people what you got. I mean, I'm just like, you know, if, if, if I'm not perfect this week, then, then I'm a terrible picker. Or either that or it's just bad luck this year for me. Because the NFL picks haven't been good, too. You got Tennessee over LSU, TCU over Kansas, Utah. Utah over UCLA. Right, yeah. And then, of course, I picked UCLA to win the Pac-12. But, again, I explained myself why I'm going with Utah. The Utes. But, yeah, Oklahoma State over Texas Tech. I mean, come on. Ohio State over Michigan State and Alabama over Texas A&M. Yeah. You really, you really want that perfect record, don't you? Well, as far as Alabama goes, I mean, uh, I'm sure everybody's curious to see how that turns out. My question, see, my question to everybody else is, does Georgia get their number one spot back after this weekend? I don't think they win about 30. I, I don't think they win about 30. Maybe it's like Sunday. It's any given Saturday. I don't think they win about 30. That, 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 that's a, this is a rivalry game. Are you talking about 30? That's a no. Auburn is always taking that personally now. <laughs> that's disrespectful. Well, Let's That's see your picks. Let's see your picks, playmaker. Oh, I mean, uh, Michigan over Indiana, Tennessee over LSU. Like I said, it wasn't a prime time game. Press. There's one thing I'm gonna teach you, okay? You see that 25 LSU right there? Mm-hmm. If they are at home in a prime time game, raise your eyebrow, okay? Because that's a game you don't know which way it's gonna go. That game with Tennessee is noon. It's not prime time. So I'm taking the volunteers. Wait, so does it matter if Kirk Cousins is in the building or not? No. Okay. If it's LSU and Dev Valley in prime time, tread long. <laughs> it froze. Yeah, you froze. You froze. Okay. <laughs> not technical on me. I don't want to hear nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird picture is, is, like, his face is just stuck behind the microphone. Well, it always is. Yeah, he so. well, he kind of uh, he kind of phased out. So if he can hear us, that would be awesome. But uh, once again, yours truly has to step up to the plate. I <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. All right. <laughs> and he's gone. So uh, yours truly, once again, stepping in. For the playmaker, as I had to do for the bear man last week. Wait, wait. So yeah, most of his picks are similar to mine, except for two of them. But I, I'm the only thing I'm saying is, and I'll say it on the betting line part of it, is tread lightly. Okay, tread lightly. Yes, there are a lot of big numbers out there this week. Not gonna lie about that, but. Uh, any game that you uh, see in double digits, especially if it's like, I don't know, 30 plus points, which uh, there's not very many of those on this list. I see 24. I see uh, 27 and a half. Uh, tread lightly on the uh, on those, please. Because, uh, you know, that's that, it's just going to be your – that'll be your death nail if you end up uh, on that spot. We get Darnell back in here because he froze. <laughs> I know I froze. Y'all want to get ready for this because you know, yeah, I got TCU over Kansas, like Bear Man and Utah over UCLA, but I didn't have UCLA win the Pac 12 and Oklahoma State because they're my big 12 champions over Tennessee. But what's that last game right there, Press? What's that last game? With the well, that would be uh, North Carolina State over FSU. I told y'all, I'm coming for you, Florida State. I'm coming for y'all. I let y'all talk for four weeks. Now it's my turn. Y'all finna take this second L. And you're gonna have to take it like a man or a woman. <laughs> uh... Wrong sport. <laughs> All right. No, it's not. 
Well, no, it's not. Oh, that's what they do. Well, they're the rip off of the Atlanta Braves. Hey, how about them? Speaking of them Braves, how about them Braves? We'll get to those in a second. The yeah, Bear Down Pick Six. They make uh, over uh, the Master of Mayhem's New York Mets. <laughs> uh, but yeah, y'all not getting out of this. And don't worry, Florida State fans, I ain't dealing with y'all because when y'all take this second L, y'all am getting a third L next week that I may enjoy picking as well. <laughs> Am I being too evil right now? No, Towards not evil State enough. Not, not even evil enough. enough. Not evil enough. Not evil, not not evil enough. at all. No. Not at all. Not, not even at all. That that means Florida State fan next week, y'all ain't in for it. I think oh, the evil I think the evil kitty is more evil than you. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. He hears you, you know. Uh, did he freeze? Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> well, there. <laughs> I think the cat. I think the evil kitty caused that. All right. Well, see, because he's got a mind of his own. You know, telepathy. All right. Well, so, he's got, uh, and, and, and of course, supernatural powers. All right, so in the processes of this all, I think we're going to just kind of end this out because Darnell keeps disappearing. Um, all right. You got any final comments for everybody? No. Good. All right. So Ricky, you disrespect the state of Texas. That's going to bite you in the ass, buddy. Listen, everything bites me in the ass, even midgets with a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on behalf of the playmaker and the bear man, I am your master of ceremonies, the executive producer of the show, the master of mayhem, Tomorrow on Mixler, Motley Metal, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Mixler on Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pipe Bomb Radio NYC flashback Fridays. This show will be back again next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Arch Rivals back on Tuesday and Saturday. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. You've just experienced Bearing Down the Gridiron, featuring your hosts, Alex the Bearman, Alcazaz, and Darnell the Playmaker Salons. Executive production is done by Ricky, the master of mayhem, Litwinkowich. Click that like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when a new Bearing Down the Gridiron episode is live on the air. Check out our sponsor links down below for everyday deals on Fanatics, NFLshop.com, and Points.com. Need merch? Check out www.paintrainpipebomb.threadless.com for quality merchandise at amazing prices. Tune in again next time for Bearing Down the Gridiron.